I mean, this is seriously like my kind of easygoing stuff. Hey guys. So I'm really excited today because we're going to be doing a puzzle from a company that actually reached out to me to do a collaboration. And what's fantastic about this one is not only did they send me a puzzle set of my choice, but they also sent me their puzzle frame. And this is really exciting because I've never actually framed one of my puzzles before. So not only are we going to experience one of their puzzle sets, but we are also going to frame it using one of their frames. So our new company friend is the brand Pintu. This one is called Tranquility. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 58.8 by 37.8 centimeters when it's completed. Now the box itself is very simple, but it's very pretty. You have a lovely print of the image on the front and on the back, it does give you some information. It does say that these pieces are actually made out of premium plastic. They are easy to move around and they do not fall apart when you pick them up. It also says that there is no glue required and they are ready to frame. They are unique puzzle pieces and and what I also found very interesting is that the printing on the puzzle pieces are water resistant. Now this is super interesting because I've never owned a puzzle that's made out of plastic. So I'm really curious as to how these are gonna feel, how they're gonna fit. I already like the way they sound. Pintu also offers free missing piece replacement, which is fantastic and very helpful. All companies should offer this. And the front sticker gives you all the information you need to go about that process. Now I was checking out their website and I'm going to leave their link down below for you to their store so that you can check it out. But they have a beautiful selection of puzzle images. They also carry panorama images and even 3D puzzles. That globe looks awesome by the way. I'm going to probably have to get that one too. You can also find their frames there to fit any of their puzzles. And what's really special about these puzzle frames is that they are meant to be effortless and toolless assembly, which is great. I hate having to find tools. So not only do they offer a puzzle that you do not have to glue, but their picture frames don't even require tools to assemble them. I mean, this is seriously like my kind of easygoing stuff. Really, not only am I looking forward to putting the puzzle together, but I can't wait to see what this picture frame is going to look like. Now, their store had a number of beautiful images, but this one really caught my eye. Because as soon as I saw it, I immediately felt like, yeah, for sure, that is definitely like my little house near the river. It looks like it's a beautiful fall day, kind of like a little chill in the air. I'm pretty sure I'm inside right now brewing a pot of coffee so that I can sit outside and kind of just enjoy the view. And look, there's my boat again. This is absolutely beautiful. It definitely feels like what it's called, tranquility. I really love how I have this stone bridge in front of my house. If I don't feel like sitting on my chairs in front of the house, I can just cross my little bridge here and sit on that bench and just kind of admire my house from there. I'd love to have a stone facade on my house. My my actual house has some stone on the front, but not it's not the entire house. This is gorgeous. Me and my house are kind of like tucked away in the trees there. And there looks to be absolutely no neighbors, which sure can make for a tranquil life. Now, in terms of the completion process, I kind of feel like this might be a tough one for me. And the reason why I say that is because you have a lot of browns, kind of warm tones in this that kind of look the same. I feel like the plant life, the sky, the water up to a certain point is going to be kind of difficult for me. And you know what as well, now that I look at it, you have the house and you have the reflection of the house on the water. So I feel like that's going to be kind of a tough one for me to figure out in terms of sorting and putting it together. I gotta try to not mix the actual house and the reflection pieces together. Obviously the sky is pretty straightforward in terms of trying to sort that one out because you know you have your blues and your whites there and then again you do have some of it on the water too so you know that might be confusing. Well to be honest I think the whole thing is going to be pretty tricky but you know what I am so excited about this image that this is going to be fantastic. I'm gonna love this one. I can't wait to complete it. I can't wait to pick it up and you know see it doesn't fall apart. And most of all, I can't wait to put it in the frame. So we're gonna have a lot of good stuff going on. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna complete it, we're gonna open up that frame, put it together, and then we're gonna get this set inside that frame and hang it up. All right guys, I'm super excited to get started, so let's go.
All right, let's get started with this one. Now this one has plastic wrapped to it. So let's get this off before we actually get into the box. All right, let's open this one up. Ooh, what is this here? What we got here? I have a feeling this is meant to be the border around the image once you've completed the main part of the puzzle. Very interesting. Let's put this on the side. And here's the bag with the actual pieces in it. Now, one thing to note, this brand does not have a puzzle poster, but that's, oh, wait a minute, look here. Oh, I see what this is now. So this, th this is the border of the image. This, these bits on the side, these must be the corner pieces. So, hmm, this is gonna be interesting. So yeah, I guess that's for when you frame the image to give it kind of like a nice white bordered finish to the whole image. Let's open this up. Ooh, listen to that, it sounds almost like glass. Oh my, this feels very different compared to the traditional cardboard chipboard pieces. Obviously because it's made out of premium plastic. This is totally different. I'm like, I'm not scared to like put a bunch in my hand and squish them all together. I've always wanted to do that and I don't know why. The piece itself has a nice thickness to it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. I would say it's just right. So obviously with it being plastic, there's absolutely no dust to this. We got unique shapes in this set, so that's gonna make it quite a bit of a challenge as well, aside from the fact that these pieces honestly are not very big. But then again, they're not too small. They're kind of like in between, but more on the small side. If that makes any sense, I may have just made that more confusing. And like it says on the box, with it being made out of plastic, these are water resistant. So if I accidentally spill my cup of coffee or my water on my puzzle, they're gonna be totally fine. Aside from my table, that, that that's probably not gonna survive, which would be a big problem, but at least the puzzle itself would be all right. But you know, Let's hope that doesn't happen. The print on this as well is very nice. You can kind of see pretty well. It doesn't look blurry. I mean, you have some of these pieces here and it, I don't think it looks blurry because of the print itself. I think it's just the image itself, the drawing. This is meant to be the leaves of the tree. So yeah, you know, you're not gonna have exact definition here on each individual leaf, but take a look at this one here. That's a pretty nice solid print there. And you know what I like about this too? I don't have to worry about, you know, you know how sometimes it pieces have the image print peeling off of it on the tabs or on the side here? That's not gonna happen with this stuff. This is really awesome. And what I like is that if I drop a piece, I can literally hear it clacking off the floor. So now I'm trying to look for the one I just dropped. Now in terms of glare, like, you know, with any puzzle, you're gonna get glare for the most part. But from what I'm noticing with this so far, I'm trying to like, catch the light on it and it's not turning into a flashlight this is fantastic all right guys enough chatter i want to get this one started because i want to see it hanging in my dining room in a lovely picture frame so let's get this one started okay so sorting this was pretty tricky I was able to make out some pieces that I knew belonged to the house, but other than that, it's mainly by colors. So over here we have all the edge pieces, and it is the half white and half colored bits here. So those are your edge pieces for the actual image itself. Then for here, what I basically did was, I just put together all like the plain, very light pieces. Here is kind of like a mixture of light pieces with some other leaves and background to them, but kind of similar to this. I kind of feel like these two are going to somehow belong to each other in the end. We'll see. Over here we have um, a ton of pieces with yellow, some reds. The image itself has a lot of yellow in it, so this obviously this pile is the biggest and I know it's gonna kick my butt when I get to it. Over here we kind of have like the darker tone pieces, like grays, we do have some yellows, kind of flat. This is possibly like the areas for the water. Again, I'm not too sure what they are. Over here we have more of the reddish tone pieces. And then here we have pieces that kind of are a bit gray, bluish, but they all kind of have this pattern, which I believe is the brickwork for either the house or the bridge. 
So that's mainly what we have here. And then right above it, we have pieces which I believe are for the house. And again, there's some pieces with brick as well that might belong to the bridge, but you know, kind of like similar things. House, bridge, reddish tones. We have the grayish tones. Well, the darker black grayish tone. We have yellow. We have the sky pieces with some scattered leaves and whatnot, kind of like a mix of this with this equals this. Hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to do here. And of course your edge pieces. So I hope this sorting is gonna work. I feel like this puzzle is gonna be super challenging now that I've actually gone through all these pieces and kind of got a better feel of what I'm gonna be dealing with. So I'm pretty sure my puzzle scoop is gonna come in handy. It's already there, so let's continue. Now here's a little something about me if you're new here. I always like to start with the edges. And after sorting, I take my edge tray and start separating the pieces into groups with similar colors and patterns, etc. Then I just pick a pile and start putting that together. And once I get a majority of that done, I then connect the sections together. And really you can do this with any puzzle, as long as you have all your edge pieces piled together. And then after that, I pick a tray that I feel is gonna be the easiest to start with and just start piecing from there. So these pieces were smaller than what I'm used to, and it did make it quite challenging. It did have a lot of darker pieces, and that kind of made it hard for me to make out the details within them. For example, I'm talking about the area towards the bottom right hand side of the puzzle image, which is the area where the house is reflecting on the water. And then the other areas that were also challenging were the leaves and the trees. Obviously with the small piece, it's gonna be hard to see fine details anyways, but because the image is basically a painting, you don't really have that definition of leaves within the trees. So already that's already difficult to make out within the piece. So I'm not blaming the puzzle print for that, but it's just the nature of the puzzle image. I didn't really feel like glare was a big issue for me, which was surprising because these pieces are made out of plastic. I really feel like it didn't reflect that much light. It did some, but not to a point where it got me frustrated. Once again, working during the daytime worked best for me. I know I've mentioned this before, but I really need to work on my light situation in my room. I mostly puzzle at night now, so it's taking me longer to complete my puzzles because I'm so busy during the day. But I'm currently switching things up around my room and I'm hoping to get the light situation sorted out at some point very soon. So we shall see when that eventually happens. Yeah, that was really the only kind of negative thing I had to say about this puzzle. As small and as challenging as it was, I absolutely loved it. The fit was for sure my kind of fit. It was perfect. The snap was so loud and satisfying that I was so excited when I had to pop another piece in. It was just fantastic to hear that snapping goodness. I mean, just listen to this little snapping montage. That's just too much satisfaction. If you hear that sound, you know that fit is right. And you would instantly know if the piece did not belong there. Of course, you know me, I was trying to be a brute and fit pieces in. And if I somehow did get it in, it was pretty difficult to pull out. But you know, that's what I get. And as I mentioned before, the print on the pieces was excellent. There is absolutely no having to deal with the image peeling off your puzzle pieces. And the color was vibrant. And as I was completing this puzzle, I just knew just because of the sound and the fit that there was no way this puzzle was coming apart. I just knew that I would be able to pick it up, flip it around, wobble it a few times, just go nuts with it. Just that thought alone made me even more excited to get this puzzle finished because I just couldn't wait to see what it was gonna be like. And even before I completed the puzzle, I had to move it around a few times when there was barely anything much to it and nothing happened to it. I easily picked it up. I transferred it from my table to the couch and back and forth and it was fine. I couldn't believe it. It was fascinating. I mean, really, to me, it was like, I don't have to worry about anything with this puzzle because for one, it's plastic. Nothing can really happen to it. It's even waterproof. 
Well, I mean, you could melt it, but what's your problem? Why would you do something like that? Now you need to hit that like button if you're a fan of pen tube puzzles and let me know down below if you feel the same way I do about it or if you have had terrible experiences with them or if you even melted them yourselves. But please don't do that. Now this puzzle took me, ready for this, about 8 hours to complete. Yeah, this one did take me quite a while, uh, longer than usual, but to be honest, I enjoyed every minute of it. The fact that this puzzle set did not have a poster with it did not matter in the slightest to me. If you have not tried Pintu puzzles before, you need to get one right away. Again, the link is down below, so check them out. Nothing beats that loud snap you hear when you put those pieces together. That fit is amazing. They're strong and sturdy. The print is vibrant. None of my pieces were damaged. And that's never happened to me before. The strength of this puzzle is unreal. You can pick it up, you can flip it upside down, throw it on the floor. Nothing's gonna happen to it. And again, it's waterproof. In regards to the size of the piece, that's just my personal preference, mainly because with me, the smaller the piece, the harder it is for me to complete the puzzle, but that doesn't matter. This puzzle was still amazing, and nothing beats that beautiful image. Now before I finally cross my bridge, let's finish it off with the white border and stick this in the frame. Now the frame color that I have is called Cool Gray if you're interested, and the only things that are in the box are the four pieces of the frame and the instructions. Now the pieces are very lightweight, and this is a snap fit button design. So all you have to do is push the sides in place till it's fully locked and secured. And then you insert your completed puzzle into the grooves from the short side of the frame. And when you feel like completing another pin tube puzzle of the same size, you could switch up the image in the frame. The design of the frame is very simple, so you can pretty much use it in any room. And this was very easy to put together. Now I can finally cross my bridge with my cup of coffee in hand and sit on my bench and just admire my house. So tranquil. Anyways guys, if you're new here and would like to join me on my other puzzle adventures, be sure to subscribe so you can follow me on my jigsaw journey to completing as many puzzles as I possibly can. And as always, I'll share with you my puzzle game plan and strategy. And hopefully they help you on your puzzle adventures. Well guys, thank you for all your support and all your wonderful comments. Hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.